Hi everyone, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to talk about Zabbix. Among other tools like Prometheus, Isinger or Nagius, Zabbix is a very nice tool to monitor your network devices, your operating systems, virtual machines, clouds, backups, applications, among other services. I will install an Ubuntu server with Zabbix server on it and also demonstrate how to start integrating your devices by installing Zabbix agent on an Ubuntu desktop. Before we start, let me remind you, you can support this channel by subscribing it and pressing the bell button if you would like to receive notifications about all the videos I'll be publishing. Now, let's do it! Let's start by visiting Zabbix webpage, go to download uh, subpage and configure the server you will be using. I have configured for Ubuntu server versions 5.0 and now the link I got will be used here. Let me copy it so I can download this file. This Debian file is uh, the configuration for the repository from where I will be uh, downloading the, the files. This is great because whenever an update is available, I'll have them uh, updated automatically from the repository. Now that the package already arrived, let us install it with dpkg-i and the file name. So now we are ready to update our files and uh, start the process of installing Zabbix. There are several packages that need to be installed. Let us do it with apt install. The first one is Zabbix minus server minus MySQL, the database system I have chosen to use. Then Zabbix minus frontend minus PHP for the portal and also Zabbix minus Apache minus conf for Apache 2 web server that I have already pre-installed in my system. And finally Zabbix agent so I can also have Zabbix being monitored here with my own agent. All the packages are now being installed. Let's wait a little bit until the process is complete so we can move on. Okay, now that all the files have been installed, let's take care of the database. I have chosen to use MySQL, so we need to install it in our system. MySQL server is the name of the package. Let us install it also. It's quite fast. So let's wait a little bit until it completes. And we are ready to start our configuration. Okay, the process is now completed. Let's move on. And in this case, we will first connect to our MySQL database system to create our own database, a user and all the necessary permissions so Zabbix can connect locally and get and write data. Okay, create database, Zabbix DB is the name, character set UTF-8 and uh, collate UTF-8 underscore bin. So these are the settings. This is provided by Zabbix for this system. I will now create this Zabbix user and lock it so it can only connect locally. I will use a simple password uh, with an A. Okay, password and the zero should be fine. This is just a demo. Please assure you use 
your own password for this user. Now let's grant permissions so this user can connect locally and have access to this database. Okay, the command is here. We are done. We can now quit our MySQL and move on. Okay, now we need to inject the database structure into MySQL server. Let's use zcat to extract and read the file and at the same time inject it using mysql minus u zabbix and the correct database on it let me put the password and wait a little bit please do not cancel this process it might take a while, it depends on your server's speed, but do not interrupt the process. Wait until the prompt is back for you. Okay, the database has been installed correctly. Now let's move to slash etc slash Zabbix folder and open zabbixserver.conf file. We have some directives to configure here let me show you first at line 91 i have activated db host to local host then the the zabbix db database name on line 100 then db user that it was already uh, activated so nothing uh, is done there and at line 124 i have put the correct password we are done in this file. Let me save and exit the text editor and move on. We have another file we need to edit. It is apache.conf where we will be activating the line 30 PHP value date time zone. So in this case, you need to adjust to uh, whichever time zone you need to. I will leave it this way. I could uh, put Lisbon but it doesn't matter in this case. And now let us restart Apache 2 service because we made some changes. And also let's restart Zabbix server. Okay both are already running. We have both status OK. So let's move on to Apache 2 just to show you one new configuration. As you can see, zabbix.conf is a new configuration and we are ready to move on to the portal. So here I have put my server uh, IP address slash Zabbix and we can now take care of the final configuration in our Zabbix portal. Let me put DB name, user, the password, adjust all the parameters, confirm. Here I'll put a name to this server, Zabbix server. This is the summary and if everything is okay, you are set. Now let me log in here with admin and Zabbix has the password and we are now seeing Zabbix portal. As you can see I have a Zabbix server configured. This is the main web page. I have here a slightly problem because I have configured my virtual machine uh, with a certain amount of uh, RAM memory but it is consuming too much that's why Zabbix is already telling me that. Let me show you that uh, we can observe this data right away. This is the system load, CPU utilization. Let me scroll down for you so you can see swap usage, memory usage. As you can see, I have a big amount of memory 
being used at this point so I will take care of it and make a note regarding a system a memory upgrade that uh, should be made okay and server performance this is a virtual machine created for this video so that's why I don't have too much resources here at the dashboard I can take care of the message let me create one this is uh, the update of the problem and this will be my message about it high priority and I'm done now that the server is already uh, working properly let me go to hosts option in configuration menu so we can create the Ubuntu desktop host first I will log in here at my Ubuntu desktop machine go straight to the command line interface and adjust some parameters we need first one is to install Zabbix agent package so the server and the agent can communicate and make sure the IP address is already configured correctly so they can really communicate I'm now configuring the IP address of my server this is done in zabbix underscore agentd.conf in etc zabbix folder it will be 192.168.3.1 this machine ends in 2 after I've completed the configuration I have restarted Zabbix agent and now I will check its status to make sure so this host will be working in a passive mode which means the server will contact the host for that I will open that port 10050 this is a rule I have added to my firewall so that this communication can occur at the server I will configure the network interface so we can have both correctly configured 192.168.3.1 let me restart all the network interfaces we should be okay now okay now let me just ping to check if route is okay we are done now let me do the same it should be also okay but nevertheless if something was wrong you could do both ways now let me put the traffic for port 10 1050 prepared for later usage now at the portal I am creating the new host let me call it Ubuntu 01 choose here the group for operating systems configure the IP address 192.168.3.2 and put the same at the description here at the templates we have to choose templates for operating systems in it in this case Zabbix agent okay OS Linux using Zabbix agent we are done press F as you can see we already have some network traffic with Zabbix uh, protocol machines are changing data and availability is already green using Zabbix agent if you go to monitoring hosts you see here at Ubuntu desktop we already have some data and if we go to graphics we already have some graphics being generated I have changed to five minutes so we can see that really 
we really have some graphics being produced already. So this is our first host already configured. You can use different agents for different machines. If I show you here the graphics on my server that is running for uh, a few minutes more, you can see that more data is being produced. My Zabbix system is already working properly. I will uh, make another uh, video dedicated to different uh, operating systems that needs to use SNMP protocol. I will also produce uh, other videos dedicated to uh, screens, reports, etc. Okay, we are done for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make your own experiments and please comment below for any questions or doubts. Thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe so you can support the channel and press the bell button to receive notifications about all the videos I'll be publishing. Okay guys, once again, thanks a lot. I hope to see you again on my next video. Take care.